Welcome to The Curious Compounder. I recently read Tony Robbins' best-selling book, Money Master the Game, and today I will be going over the key lessons from it. In this book, Tony Robbins conducts in-depth interviews with some of the greatest financial minds like Ray Dalio and David Swenson. The lessons in today's video will revolutionize your understanding of money and wealth, propelling you towards financial success. Stay tuned until the end of the video, where I reveal the most profound lessons we will go through today. And before we get started, if you'd like to get your copy of this book, click on the link in the description below. It will not only further empower your financial mind, but also help out the channel. Now, let's embark on this empowering journey to master the game of money. Lesson 1. Importance of Financial Education While Tony sheds light on invaluable trade secrets, he emphasizes the pitfalls many fall into on their quest for wealth. In past times, people relied on pensions for retirement, enjoying the outcomes of their hard work. However, with dwindling pension schemes, Tony stresses the imperative of saving to ensure financial independence. He likens the divisive nature of money to that of politics and religion, noting the challenge in finding unbiased advice. In his discussions with several billionaires, notably Ray Dalio, founder of a massive $160 billion hedge fund, the notion is underscored that investing is akin to a zero-sum game. Dalio interestingly equates investing to poker, where the average player is at a disadvantage against the well-resourced pros. Dalio fervently advises against putting all investments in one place. He paints the investment landscape as a perilous jungle, risky for the uninitiated. To thrive amidst the financial sharks, one needs foresight and the ability to forecast market trends. While it's tempting to assume expertise in financial matters, Dalio highlights the strength in acknowledging one's shortcomings and pursuing knowledge. Tony outlines the path to true financial proficiency, cognitive comprehension, hands-on expertise, and continuous practice, underscoring the need for consistent repetition to hone one's skills. Lesson 2. Become the insider. Know the rules before you get in the game. Life is divided into two stages the accumulation phase, where we save and work towards our ambitions, and the decumulation phase, where we savor the rewards of our efforts. Many overlook straightforward strategies in the accumulation phase, and in this context, Tony dispels prevalent investment myths that have misguided many. Myth 1. We'll beat the market. Never dive into investments without understanding the rules. Marketing tactics from companies often lead people astray. For example, while investing in active funds, be aware of the risks. Regardless of profit, these funds levy high fees. Robbins suggests opting for index funds, which minimize risks. Myth 2. Fees are minimal. Hidden fees are prevalent in investments, causing unexpected losses. A given example highlights how different fee percentages can drastically impact the final sum of a long-term investment. Myth 3. Advertised returns are accurate. Returns are often misrepresented in advertising, leading to misconceptions about actual gains or losses. Myth 4. Brokers have your best interests. Brokers may not always invest in funds they manage. Trust a fiduciary, legally qualified to provide advice. Additionally, many actively managed mutual funds don't surpass the S&P 500's performance. Myth 5. 401k ensures your retirement. The 401k plan has multiple hidden costs, making it less effective than perceived. Tony suggests an alternative which he has tested and found effective. Myth 6. Target date funds are reliable. Target date funds, TDFs, might not be as reliable as believed. They are asset allocations which become less risky as retirement nears, but they aren't guaranteed retirement plans. Myth 7. Annuities aren't beneficial. Annuities' effectiveness varies based on their type and associated fees. Variable annuities might not be favorable, but it's essential to have them annually reviewed by a specialist. Myth 8. Big rewards need big risks. Contrary to popular belief, there are investments offering significant returns without high risks, such as structured notes and market-linked CDs. Myth 9. Self-deception. To attain financial success, it's crucial to face reality and not be deluded by myths. Taking control and making informed decisions is vital for our and our family's well-being. Lesson 3. 
Know how much money you will need to retire. Tony emphasizes the significance of figuring out the exact amount required for retirement. He suggests that the number might actually be lower than what we initially estimate. The goal isn't elusive, but its realization depends on the investment choices made. To determine your target, you need to envision the lifestyle you desire post-retirement and its cost. For instance, if you wish to have an annual income of $100,000 in retirement, with an assumed 6% return, you'll need around $1.67 million saved up. This is a broad guideline, expecting that major assets like houses are paid off. This discussion helps readers set a clear financial target. For a more in-depth lesson on how much you need for retirement, check out the suggested video at the end of this video or in the description below. Tony also reinforces that while your goals might start with basic aspirations, like owning a house, grander dreams, like possessing a yacht, are attainable. Even if you start late, the right strategies can propel you to success faster than anticipated. He elaborates on strategies, emphasizing the importance of saving diligently, boosting earnings, and wisely investing the surplus to fast-track your ambitions. Lesson 4. Asset Allocation is Key Once you've opted for index funds and similar investment avenues that compound your money, you've essentially entered the financial game. The next crucial step is to determine your asset allocation. In fact, managing your asset distribution becomes pivotal as you accumulate wealth or work towards it, as it ensures sustained growth. Tony breaks down asset allocation into three main categories, the security piece bucket, risk bucket, and dream bucket. The security piece bucket is where you store investments that provide stability and security, acting as a financial safety net. The risk bucket, as the name implies, includes riskier investments that offer potentially higher returns, but with the understanding that there could be significant losses. Lastly, the dream bucket is dedicated to fulfilling personal desires, be it holidays or other indulgences, serving as a constant source of motivation. However, Tony stresses the importance of regular reviews, advising that you should revisit and adjust your asset distribution at least annually. Lesson 5. Get in on the upside while minimizing the downside risk. In this section, Tony emphasizes the significance of safeguarding your primary investment while still capitalizing on growth opportunities without exposing your assets to undue risk. He references an insightful discussion with billionaire Ray Dalio, detailing the asset distribution of Dalio's renowned all-weather portfolio. This portfolio is meticulously designed to shield investors from the unpredictable fluctuations of the financial world represented by inflation, deflation, economic growth, and economic downturns. Ray's advice leans towards allocating 30% of your funds in reliable stocks like those in the S&P 500 and other cost-effective index funds. Additionally, he suggests a distribution of 15% in intermediate government bonds, 40% in long-term government bonds, and 7.5% each in gold and other commodities. Tony champions the all-weather portfolio, a portfolio with 40% in long-term bonds, 30% in stocks, 15% in intermediate-term bonds, 7.5% in gold, and 7.5% in commodities, viewing it as a dual-purpose strategy, one that fosters growth and simultaneously mitigates ill-advised decisions that could jeopardize your financial stability. The overarching theme isn't about outsmarting or outpacing the market, but rather ensuring a protective stance against its unpredictabilities. Lesson 6. Invest like the 0.001%. With a burning desire to debunk misconceptions and reveal the truths of the investment world, Tony embarked on a four-year quest. Throughout this period, he interacted with about 50 billionaires who generously shared their wisdom. This illustrious group consists of celebrated authors, financial powerhouses, academic experts, and other luminaries who have left a lasting mark on the world. Carl Icahn, christened as the master of the universe by Time magazine, found success with firms like Netflix. His main mission? Safeguard the interests of common shareholders by bolstering corporate accountability, consequently fortifying numerous businesses and the broader economy. David Swenson, acclaimed for transforming $1 billion to a staggering $23.9 billion, opines against mutual funds due to the stark contrast between their fees and returns. 
Having recognized the merits of fiduciaries, he championed entities like TIAA, CREF, and Vanguard, noting their investor-centric operations. John C. Bogle, the visionary behind Vanguard Group, is often equated with the legendary Benjamin Franklin for his inventive spirit. He's lauded for pioneering ETFs and pushing for market returns with minimal fees. He famously noted the dire impact of high fees, illustrating with an example of how they can considerably diminish potential earnings. Warren Buffett, the investment colossus of the 20th century, scarcely requires an introduction. Among his vast reservoir of insights, he firmly advises that ETFs are an efficient, cost-effective avenue for the everyday investor. Paul Tudor Jones stands out not just for his impeccable 28-year record without losses, but also for his philanthropy. Dubbed the modern-day Robin Hood, he underscores the significance of a defensive strategy for portfolios over aggressive ones. Mary Callahan Erdos, recognized by Forbes among the world's top 100 influential women, hails from a lineage intertwined with finance. While many caution against active fund management, she asserts that a devoted, intelligent manager can indeed be a beacon, even in challenging times. Boone Pickens, coined the Oil Oracle by CNBC, accumulated his wealth after turning 70, debunking age-related myths. His acumen in forecasting and his strong views on U.S. dependency on foreign oil make him a prominent voice in the industry. Kyle Bass, the brains behind Heyman Capital Management, attributes his success to grasping the asymmetric risk-reward dynamic. He thrives on strategically timed high-stake bets. Mark Faber, renowned for his gloom, boom, and doom report, urges against following the masses. His focus on the Asian market and contrarian investment philosophy set him apart. He candidly states the risks of investing with typical portfolio managers. Charles Schwab, the trailblazer who founded Charles Schwab Corporation, revolutionized investment for many Americans by offering affordable methods. By defying the norm and cutting fees, he championed the cause of the average investor and transformed industry practices. Sir John Templeton, though mostly celebrated for his philanthropy, also left imprints in the investment realm. His legacy includes the Templeton Prize, which celebrates extraordinary achievements. One of his memorable quotes aptly summarizes market behaviors across different phases. Lesson 7. Know why we need wealth. In the last portion of the book, Tony delves into the motivation behind our pursuit of wealth. At its core, he believes that our quest for wealth is essentially a search for a superior quality of life. While most people view money as the primary vehicle to happiness, Tony perceives it differently. To him, wealth's real value is in its potential for generosity. The act of giving, he asserts, is the true source of joy, rather than merely hoarding wealth for oneself. Concluding his book, Tony emphasizes the power of choices in steering our lives. He identifies three pivotal decisions we continually make. The first decision emphasizes concentrating on achievable objectives and what's within our control, rather than fixating on the uncontrollable. The subsequent decision encourages us to seek an enriching purpose. And the final one urges forward thinking and meticulous planning for our future. So in short, Money Master the Game by Tony Robbins offers invaluable insights that can revolutionize your financial mindset. By understanding compound interest, diversifying wisely, and investing like the 0.001%, you can pave the way for lasting prosperity. If you'd like to learn more about how much money you need for retirement, click on the suggested video on the screen. Until next time, keep calm and compound on.